Here's something I've been hanging on to for quite a while, simply to make a video about it. And I purposely have not done much at all to this, uh, for the sake of making an interesting video that has my initial reactions and whatnot inside of it. Um, so this machine, a tiny bit of backstory, I got it for free. Um, it was just given to me, somebody didn't want it, so it came to me. And as far as I know, it works completely. Um, it does have a little bit of scuffing on the side. Most of this should be able to be cleaned up. But, uh, yeah, yeah, there's really... It's actually in very good shape for a G4 of this age. It definitely was put on its side, though. You can tell sort of at an angle. Um, there is some marking on there. But it's in overall good shape. A little bit dusty, but nothing too bad. Um, there's the back of the system. It's surprisingly bare, uh, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know what else I would have expected, but it just seems like there's a lot of open space here. Uh, for cooling, of course, but I'm just a little weird. Um, so let's open this thing up. And we're greeted with the motherboard. This is exact... well, the motherboard area is how it came to me. I will be honest with you, I powered this on already and figured out one issue that it had. Uh, and I'll get to that in just a moment. So, yeah, there's everything. Battery is actually good, if I remember correctly. The fan right here is very noisy. Now, I'll plug that back in, just so you can hear it, but it is pretty noisy. I don't know the specs of this thing. I probably could find out, but I don't... Oh, yeah, they're over here. So what do we have? It looks like a 733 megahertz. G4? I don't know. We'll see when I get this thing fired up. Uh, this stick of RAM isn't... Oh, oh, it's just taller than the other one. Okay. That's kind of cool. So we got 128 and 512, so it, if everything goes correctly, it's got uh, 768 megs of RAM. There is a video card in there that I don't see any obvious markings on it. Uh, it's got VGA and um, ADC, which is kind of cool. It's got a modem on board. It's got wireless, which is cool. I don't usually see um, desktops with wireless in them, but this is probably an airport extreme. I can't really pull it out because there's um, it's plugged in right now and I don't want to screw with it too much yet. Uh, hard drives. Now, I said I powered this up before, which is true, and there used to be two hard drives in here. One of them was an Apple drive. Actually, both of them were Apple. This one is Apple, too. This one is a 60 gig, and the other one, I believe, was a 40. Now, the 40 has been recycled by now because it was dead. Um, it was clicking, and I tried many, many, many different things to try to get it to work, and unfortunately, there's just no saving it. So, I have no idea what was on it, but short of sending it to data recovery, uh, there's nothing I could have done about it. So it's unfortunate, but that's just what happens with older machines, I suppose. Um, I won't spoil what it's running right now, but this definitely was a dual hard drive system, obviously, but I, I'm pretty sure it was a dual boot system as well, and I'll get into that in just a moment. Um, it's got an optical drive in there of type I have no idea. And I don't think it has a zip drive in there. Let's see if I can open this. I thought you just like pressed on the bottom and it came out. Yeah, we'll look at it later. More interesting that way. So everything uh, other than that should be pretty functional. So I'm going to go ahead and not even bother cutting the video. I'm just going to do this in true style that I usually do. Um, plug stuff in. See how it goes. Now, I am pretty excited to get this machine up and running. Actually, I don't need that, because I have VGA. Um, I want to maybe not max it out, but just kind of give it some more some more horsepower. Uh, maybe stick some more RAM in there, maybe a, a different sized hard drive. I don't know. I just want to get this thing usable um, once again. Although, I, I suppose I could use it as it is. So there we go. Cable's plugged in. We got the monitor right here. 
kind of hide those cables behind there. All right. And we're going to power it on in one, two, three, go. All right, so you heard a lot go on there. Fan kicked in, which is quite noisy. Uh, we had a Mac bong, and shortly it should be powering up. There we go. So yeah, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna unplug that and then shut her back up. Uh, hard drive is a little bit noisy, but it's not anything too bad. So this is running on this hard drive, Mac OS 9.2. I already knew that. And I'm pretty sure that on the other drive, OS X was installed, or OS X, because somebody corrected me on that one. I'll say it either way, I don't think it matters, but you get the point. Um, that was weird. So yeah, this hard drive, if I remember correctly, now this has been about four months since I've had this thing powered on. I believe it says something like second hard disk. Which leads me to believe that the other one was the main one. Probably an upgrade from some point or another. I don't remember it being this slow, but it still seems like it's doing some... Oh, maybe not. It might have just locked up on me. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I, I know this hard drive functions. I mean, it's booted, but I don't actually know if it's any good. So let's actually force reboot it. Wow, that is a loud machine. What was that noise? That was an interesting noise. Hmm. And we'll see if it boots up once again. And yes, yeah, somebody else commented, although you can't really see it at the moment. Yes, I know I have a dead pixel. I got this uh, monitor for like five bucks. It's totally fine otherwise. Great picture, but it does have that... I don't even think it's a dead pixel. I think somebody poked it with a pencil. But yeah, I am aware of that, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Booting up once again. Come on. I hope it's not freezing when it refreshes the screen like that. I'm going to keep moving the mouse around. There we go, like it should have. So I don't know what went on the first time, maybe I'll have to check out this drive. So this thing is called Second Hard Drive, and I believe all it has on it is, and I mean a couple things, but mostly just the operating system. It's a pretty base installation too, you can see all these um, things that come with a base installation of Mac OS 9. Let's go about this computer and system profiler. Come on. Ooh, what is that noise? It's like a, a weird noise coming from the speaker. And I can't figure out what it is. Uh, 640 megs? Is that right? 512, oh, wait, no. Did I see those wrong? I thought I saw those properly. 128512. Oh, so duh. Okay. I was thinking 128256 for 768. I'm sure I'm sure somebody has already typed that in the comments section, but yes, I caught myself there. Um Wow, that is a weird noise. I wonder if you can hear that. It's like a static hissing noise. Anyway, Mac OS 9.2.2, .2, 640 megabytes of RAM, uh, it's got gigabit ethernet, I think, and what else do we have? What do we have for hard drive? I mean, we already know, but I want to know more about it. Uh, 60 gig C8 drive, ST 3600 20A, uh, it's a DVD reader, CD write, CD rewriter. No, DVD RW. It says DVD R, CD RW, and then down here it says DVD RW. Huh, I don't know, a disc burner of some sort, and it's probably a 64 meg card if I had to guess. 32. 
uh, GeForce 2 MX 32 meg. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's try to readjust the screen resolution, see if I can get my, was it 1400 by something? 1400, 900? See if that'll show up. Oh, that looks beautiful. That is crisp as all hell. Now, I know the camera probably won't focus very well, but I promise you that looks gorgeous. Wow, that looks nice. Okay. Off my nerd soapbox for a moment. Um, yeah, that screen does look pretty good. So, yeah. That is about it for this machine. Um, I'm unsure about what I'm going to do with it. I think... I should poke around a little bit with the files on it just to see if there's anything cool. Um, there's a video here. I don't know if this is porn or not. I assume it's not. Let's see. It says him dash province rock. It says I need a compressor to to run it. So maybe I can't watch this video right now. Eh, it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Okay. Can I play mp4s? Pride and Prejudice mp4? No? Alright, well something's a little bit screwy, but yeah, it's alright. I'm not concerned. Yeah, there's really not that much on here at all. Hardly any programs. In fact, are there any programs on here at all that aren't a base installation of OS 9? I don't think there are. I think this is just OS 9.2 and a couple other files thrown on there. Huh, I wonder what's up with that. Well, I don't know. I have no idea. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll shut this thing down. And then I'll upload... That was quick. I'll upload this video as it is. And when I get around to doing some upgrades to this, which I might actually do tonight, um, I'll upload that video separately. So... Thank you for watching this quick little glimpse at a free Power Mac G4 that I got. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I thank you very much for watching.